Right now at five, President Trump in Hialeah. Are there any Hispanics in the room? No, I don't. <laughs> Talking tax cuts and employment. For Hispanics, the, we have the lowest level ever recorded. While the country talks about the fallout from James Comey's interview, and his personal attorney heads to court over an FBI raid tonight, keeping track of a busy day in the Trump presidency. And we begin with the president's quick trip to Hialeah this afternoon. He was here for only a short time before making the trip north to Palm Beach and his Mar-a-Lago estate. CBS 4's Joan Murray begins our coverage of the president live in Hialeah. Joan. Well, the president was in an upbeat, joking mood here at the Bucky Dent Gymnasium today. And the crowd loved it, but not everyone is applauding his tax cut package. President Donald Trump in Hialeah talking tax cuts and the economy before a wildly enthusiastic crowd clearly in his corner. Uh, we've made tremendous progress in our country. Uh, we're working on new trade deals that are going to be great deals. Uh, we're, as you know, very tough on Cuba. The panel, which included small business owners and prominent Republicans, praised Trump for signing the $1.5 trillion tax cut package and slashing regulations. They opened for business. Whose idea was that? That's <laughs> Marco. It was Marco. We are finally doing what I wish previous administrations have done. You are taking on the cheating and the stealing that the Chinese have committed against our economy for the better part of 30 years. Panelist Alberto Bello said the cuts have allowed his Hialeah trucking firm to expand. I've been able to invest in newer technology, been able to buy more equipment, and hire more employees for my business. And Mr. President, I just want to say thank you for making America great again. Well, thank you. Very much. Many in the invitation-only crowd agreed the tax cuts, which allow bigger write-offs for big expenses, translates to bigger profits. We're in real estate. Frankly, it's the tax cuts are helping. Homes are moving faster. People are qualifying easier for loans. This was a rally uh, for him. In my opinion, there was no substance to it. Millie Herrera, a Democrat and former labor rep, countered the tax cuts will actually hurt workers. This is obviously just a, a, a redistribution of capital from the working people who are going to get these, you know, minimum tax breaks and increasing starting next year our, our deficit uh, by a trillion dollars. But there was no talk of deficits from this crowd or anyone on the stage. Or we have such tremendous potential because of people like you. The president criticized Democrats for voting against his package, particularly Democratic Senator Bill Nelson and conspicuously absent today, the man running against and usually a big supporter of Trump, Governor Rick Scott. In Hialeah tonight, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.